Tyler Sabrell is popping his D, about to react to this vid. This is the greatness of old kids' shows. Um, I didn't watch a lot of cartoons growing up, to be honest. Well, I mean, I had my select few, but I didn't watch, like, a whole bunch of cartoons. Like, I watched a lot of music videos <laughs> and, like, movies and stuff when I would watch TV. Um, but I wasn't really into, like, a lot of kids' shows. But, of course... Really popular ones. I fucked with Recess. Um, Fairly Odd Parents was my shit. Um, of course, SpongeBob. You know, like the really popular ones that are undeniably good. Yes, but a lot of the little random bullshit shows. I didn't watch. Anyway, let, let's see what's on this comp though. Let's watch. Well, I don't think this is a compilation. But who the fuck is this? It's getting copyright. Peace. Who doesn't love them? Oh, not me, but. Period. Ah, uh, babies. Who big doesn't head love babies. them? Ball head, oh, big head not babies. me, but that's only because I'm grown now. But yeah, kid. the only time when I liked babies was during the time when I was inside. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's not what I meant. That sounds crazy. What I meant was when I was a literal baby myself. Like, we've all been inside babies before. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. When you're a baby, you don't gotta worry about nothing. Someone's already feeding you, bathing you, what the fuck, you around see? on the street, cleaning the doodle out your pants. You never have any responsibilities for yourself. Being a baby is the new 80. It's awesome. <laughs> and since we were babies, when we weren't sleeping or swallowing the nearest lethal object, we were playing with toys or watching the preschool shows our parents put on the TV. Wow. You know, they changed it to the children's channels, PBS, TBS, CBS, putting on the shows for us toddlers. Well, my parents didn't really do that. I would just watch whatever my siblings were watching, which was Cartoon Network and Disney Channel 99% of the time. And what See, and also, when I was really young, my sister, she's much older than me, and we watched what she wanted to watch because I was a little kid, and she definitely wasn't watching cartoons. So I also was watching what she wanted to watch, which was music videos. <laughs> and, like, uh adult shows whatever my dad was watching and he was not watching the most baby friendly stuff like literally both me and my dad would fall asleep watching friday the 13th or something on showtime then at 4 a.m i'd wake up to showtime playing straight up corn on the channel not even a scene like it's just a straight up corn movie and i just stared at it my balls were still in my stomach so i ain't feel nothing but when sir it, i felt like a industry baby if sir you my drift in short i ain't watched that many kid shows but when i did i was watching what every other baby was watching while babies nowadays are looking at their cocoa melon we just ziggas was watching classics classics in the making the children's programming from back in the day of our babyhoods were some of the greatest Educating us kids on valuable lessons like go brush your teeth or don't be an ass. And I wanted to use the way back machine and reminisce on the very simple times of watching baby shows. Talk on how some of them were great and how some of them were the back door to my nightmares. Oh, I'm gonna say that for the end. I'm gonna start this off with a channel that we're all familiar with Disney Junior. Now, I'm not gonna show that much footage because Disney sucks, but I remember when this channel became a thing. Like, I was like around eight years old, old enough to realize the meaning of my existence, but not old enough to have common sense, so I still needed this educational channel. But honestly, thinking about it right now, I don't think I ever watched a show to be educated before. I for real watched a lot of kids' education shows back then, and I don't think I've learned a single thing from any of them. They were teaching us stuff that we already learned at school. Why the hell I need to repeat it at me? That's why back then I barely watched kids' shows that would ask you a question and wait 20 years for you to answer. It ruins my immersion of the show. I, I get less and less attached to the show when they hit me with Dora, fourth wall break. Shit. You ain't supposed to know I'm here. Like, who are you talking to? And after waiting 80 years, of them just staring at you, waiting for you to answer, they just assume your answer anyway. So why'd you ask me in the first place? Wasted my time. I had goals as a kid. I had stuff to do. And this show was just wasting my time. 
Anyway, that little nigga, that's you, it. There that's were a few hilarious. shows I used to always watch. I remember watching Big Bear and the Big Blue House sometimes. Honestly, the show kind of scared me as a kid because the moon. Because, ah, it reminded me of that molester moon emoji. And that's the most I remember from the show. That's the and I sadly moon? wasn't a Wiggles guy either. But I heard a bunch of songs from them. And not gonna lie, they're pretty great. I heard a bunch <laughs> of songs from them. And after hearing them, I can tell you that this is one of the greatest bands of this generation. Of any generation. Every song for them makes you hype and go crazy. They're basically the Beatles if they were good. There was also Special Agent Oso. And really the only reason I attempted to watch this show was because Mr. Mosby was playing the wolf on the show. Fulfilling my fantasies I had about him. So, But none of those shows were the main shows. Sure. The big three of my Disney Junior experience was Handy Manny. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and Little Einstein. Like, it's not know. Doc McStuffins. She ain't no real doctor. She can't give me my BBL or Sophia the Shut First. The that show's for Atlanta, nigga. We all know the deal with Handy Manny. You know, Mexican people we're talking to us that can fix anything from a boat to a chair to your accident. You name it. We fix it. The characters were fun too. You know, there was this guy who was a complete loser. He had no hairline. He lived with his cat. He was always the butt of the joke. Never had any bitches. Easily the most relatable character on the show. I also remember them adding this new character. It was a flashlight. He only spoke minion. I don't remember what language he spoke. But they was adorable. Every time they were on screen, they was just like cute like a minion. Then the main Ew. man, Manny himself, just being a helpful, handsome guy. He had a girlfriend. At least I think that was his girlfriend. He always had everybody on his back. He was such a chad. He was such a handsome man. He's just a dandy guy. I like it. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, an automatic classic for the opening and ending songs alone. You know that song? M-I-C-K-E-Y, M-O-U-S-E. Oh, man, makes my balls hot. Especially that hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Look at Goofy go. Do I need to say more? The only thing this I remember crazy. this show messing up on was when they gave Toodles a face and a personality. Now he can talk and he can, like, communicate with us. I don't I don't want this, man. He don't need to speak, bro. It's weird. Like, look at him. He look creepy. Like, if he could speak the whole time then why didn't he say anything before he, he's plotting something i know it. and then there was little einstein's i just loved it because i'm a bit of a musician myself you know i can play piano trumpet the recorder the triforce of instruments and since i'm a musical genius of course this show would appeal to someone like me and honestly i don't remember what they did on this show like they had a ship they were talking instruments um Dang, I think that's all I remember. I just remember loving it as a kid. And that theme song, you know, that old meme. Copyright. They couldn't like that no more. But Dizzy Jr. was a great entertainment no, and education no, no, no. source for children back then, especially me. But it wasn't yeah, my favorite. No Moving on to a channel that I liked more as a kid in terms of baby shows, Nick Jr. Nick Jr. I have a lot more I'll memories of as a kid, even yeah. though they had some dookie butt shows like Dora and the more boring Diego. Diego but was, everything oh. else was pretty good. Wonder Pets was pretty lit, although that turtle can go chug a bottle of piss. I still hate turtles. The Backyard Again. Everybody loved this show. Yeah, and the animals, music. Tanisha, Pablo, Bart, Jesse, and James. I don't remember their names, but it See, was, I was more of a Nickelodeon show. Kid. You know, the Backyard was always transforming and getting new settings, like every single episode. I loved it. My favorite episodes were the Jungle episode and the Western episode. Max and Ruby. Now, I got mixed feelings on this. I used to watch this show a I lot. Like, I enjoyed the show as a kid, but... I didn't really like Max all that much when I was young. I didn't really know any better back then. I just saw him making mud cakes and I was just like, uh, that's gross, it worms in it, bro. Why are you making that? It wasn't until I got older that I realized that Max was just having fun, man. He was just a young kid just having fun, playing with his toys, making cakes. He was just doing his thing. The real villain of this show, it was Robbie. I'm not gonna get too in detail because then I'll just be stealing this guy's content. Shout out to him. But let me say this. If I was in a room Racist. with a bow and arrow, with only two arrows, and there was me, Ruby, no, I don't even care who else is there. I'm gonna shoot Ruby twice. Blue's Clues was pretty cool too. You know, I like the cat. I, I like the box clues. characters. My man Steve was drawn like Picasso just with just a crayon. Later. The show was we nuts until Steve later. left to buy some cigarettes. Uh, what does the new yeah, Steve look like again? Run. Who the fuck is this type of pig? I ain't really oh. watch it because it was British and I was more of a Olivia kind of guy. But I'll admit it, the Peppa Pig album is pretty fire. Like, unironically, it's better than Honestly <laughs> And I ain't gonna forget the goat. 
Yo, Gabba Gabba. I didn't really watch it that much, but my brothers loved it, and the characters looked nice. Uh, Biz Marquis is in, like, every episode beatboxing, and DJ Lance is so into his character in the show that he's still in his character over 10 years after the show ended. So... That's dedication right there. But yeah, I ain't really watched this show as a kid. The most I got from it was that one episode from South Park where Fufa became a thought. That, that's the most I ever got from it. And my personal favorite Nick Jr. show was Little Bill. Now, ignoring the controversies, this show taught me so many things, like how to talk to girls, how to ask a girl out, and the secret to getting any girl. And thanks to this show, I can say these tips changed my life for the better. Because of these tips, Shut the every fuck time up. I move into a new home, I have to introduce myself to my female neighbors. And under state law, I basically have to tell them how good I am with the ladies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm the rich god, all because of little Bill. All right, moving on from that, I want to talk about my actual favorite shows from back when I was a kindergartner. And back then, I was a huge fan. A huge fan of Thomas the Tank Engine. I love this show so much. It's just, it's just something about him. I was addicted to this show. Like, actually, I owned oh, DVDs, really? had so many train sets and toys. I even wore yeah. Thomas the Tank Engine undies. I was wearing this man on my balls. You cannot tell me I'm a fake fan. You can't call me gay either. He's a train. Let him run a train on me. I really do love Thomas the Tank Engine. I consider it a very big part of my babyhood. I think the reason mm. I like this show so much His was because so it was creepy. a very chill me. show. Nothing would happen in your face. The comic books would always be in the island of Sodor, what the trains do and the task that Sir Top and Hat would tell them to do. And then Why the looks so happens, weird? And then they solve it, learning a lesson Look maybe at that scary in the process. Face. Simple. It was a very simple like chill tall. show, and I like trains. The interactions were always very sweet, and when they weren't, you know when oh, shit was going down, so but they would always scary. make amends at the end. This was a show just trying to tell a simple story each episode. Oh, it's not like those other baby shows that would constantly break the fourth wall and just start singing out of nowhere or asking you, do you know what 5 plus 5 is? Yes, yes. My favorite color green. Like, bro, go lick my nut and gargle it, bro. I hate shows like that. Sometimes us kids just want to be entertained like the grown-ups. We don't want to get constantly talked down to in shows. We already get enough of that in real life. Why would we want that in our entertainment? And Thomas did have learning segments where they would ask us kids questions. But it would be in between episodes. Not the actual episode with a habit. It would never get in the way of the actual plot of the episode. <laughs> this is why I kind of like Arthur as a kid too. Because it ain't interrupt you in the middle of the episode with random questions. We was just enjoying ourselves, learning not to swear. And definitely not wanting to learn how to knit. No, I'm not a knitter. Maybe Arthur was, shit. was great. I still don't understand that racism episode, though. I thought it was just animals in this universe, but black people exist too, apparently, and get unfair treatment from the police. Oh, but okay. there was no other races that were mentioned, so is it the animals that are the ones being racist? Is it just black people and animals in this universe? What does an interracial baby look like? Okay, I'm gonna stop asking questions. Yeah, Back to that? Thomas. I also love how this show only has a narrator. Narrating and doing every voice in the like show. I loved it. It made the show feel more common and soothing. I even remember Remember when Alec Baldwin was the narrator for season five? He was great too. He just had to wear a bulletproof vest every time he watched the show. Not to mention the music. Saturday's world. It has no reason to be in that great. And it wasn't just a few good ones here and there, you know, a few good bops. No. Every single one. I'm serious too. Every song sounds like it could be one of those classic Disney songs from back in the day. They just are so catchy and so good to sing along to. And accidents will happen. One of the greatest songs of all time. Top 100. Not even fibbing. Listen to it yourself. It's like in 1984 when the show was created. The music team for this show was like, yo, let's only drop classics for the next 20 years. Like we're Kanye West or something. And the whole team responded, who the hell is Kanye West? But they did it anyway. These guys deserve all the Grammys. And that iconic intro. Nobody has forgotten that. This is genuinely one of the greatest kid shows of all time. Okay, the amount spinning. of nostalgia and pure bliss and joy I get from this show. Oh man, it cannot be matched. This show is amazing. It is fantastic. <laughs> or should I say, was. Because as soon as they went CGI, it was downhill. And only down. 
Still, I was appalled when they switched Still the style. Ball. This happened back in 2009 when I was six turning seven. And even back then, I hated it. I was all like, why are their mouths moving now? Why are the people moving? Why do they have their own voices? It changed Just so much. I avoided crazy. this new version every time I saw it on TV. I missed it when there were actual toys and it was in reality. This, this is just weird. It's unnatural seeing them like this. I always hated when kids shows would switch their style just to look more modern. Just Ew. look at Bob the Builder. For years, he was looking that. good. He was looking nice because Builder. he was in stop motion. Look at Bob go, woo! Okay, let's see what Bob the Builder looks like now. Who the hell is that? That is definitely not Bob. That dude's name is Bertram. That is not Bob. That is not the same man that I knew from my childhood. This is not my Bob. They doing the same thing with Thomas. It's horrifying. And that ain't even the worst of it. You know the music? How I said it was one of the best songs of all time. You know, should win all the BET Hip Hop Awards. It's so ass now, oh my goodness. They changed the whole vibes of the songs, bro. It, it sounds so terrible, man. It used to be a choir of kids singing, and now it's just, listen to this. A special day with all your friends. Seems like it will never end. It don't sound bad to me. Yes, who thought of this, bro? And the new intro is even worse, man. Enjoy listen. Listen. <laughs> No, this is corny, but it's giving copyright. Fuck out of here. I don't want to hear this shit. This is just oh, creepy anyway. I can't anyway. believe they like this, bro. And this is not the reason why I wore you on my balls, oh, man. This is not the show I used to love why and enjoy. Time? Stop trying to appease to these kids and appease to me, a grown-ass man. Appeal to me. They ruined it, man. They ruined it. They really turned Thomas the Tank Engine into that freaking bootleg rip-off Thomas the Tank Engine Chuggington. This is honestly one of the worst things that ever happened in humanity. And since I'm over here whining about this children's show, let me talk about one final show real quick. A show that I only remember watching once in my childhood, but that one time alone left a scar that still remains to this day. I was in elementary school, staying up a little late one night, and on a TV, it was on Nick Jr., 24-7 baby content, playing all the time. And at around midnight, this new show came on. It was called Ubi. This show was a hand puppet show, but unlike Sesame Street or any other hand puppet, hand puppet show, puppet it was on. just hands. This show gave me so all right i'm gonna cut the bullshit the show ain't even that scary i don't even know why i found this show scary as a kid it's just hand puppets maybe it's that no, creepy I don't eyes like it. i don't yeah, know but no. i'm not gonna try to hype it up to be like scary i'm gonna sound like one of those like spongebob theory channels or whatever it's also like because it. this show made me raise That's a lot weird. of questions like <clears throat> how do they eat how do they swallow their food where does it go how do they use the bathroom do they have holes how do they fight how are their eyes attached this to their hands? Stupid. How do they put on this rings? The when show? they high five each other, did they just I tried to look it up, I didn't see it. Did they just have intercourse on screen? How do they even do it in this universe? Boy. And if they do do it, do they wear gloves for protection? If so, how do they wear the gloves? Wouldn't that just cover their eyes? Where do their bodies end? There's actual people in this universe. What do they see below their hands? How do they drive cars in this universe? What is pushing the gas pedal? How does anything get done in this universe? I didn't like how many questions this show had me asking. That one time I watched this show was a life-changing and threatening experience for me as a child. And I hope no kid had to experience the nightmares I did because of this show. You're wild. <laughs> He's so extra. Hey, W I've grown since I was a jit. I'm never saying that again. I've grown in hair, length, size, <laughs> but most importantly, I've grown in mind. And I don't think I would be the person I am today if it weren't for these children <laughs> shows. Well, Get your titties out my face. Little boo, but the rest were here too. If I forgot to mention a show, I just didn't watch it as a kid. That's just the way it turned out for me. I love reminiscing about old times and old childhood memories. It makes me feel less 
old. And since we're towards the end of the video, I did not expect this video to be as long as it is. But that just shows how dedicated I am to this topic. And in conclusion, free Bill Cosby is stop. Hey, this was a good video. This was really entertaining. He was really funny. He was saying some wild shit in the beginning, though. Actually, throughout the whole video, but in the beginning, super outlandish. What wasn't wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely watched a few of these shows for sure. Uh, but Fairly Odd Parents was like my favorite. If I had to pick one cartoon that was my absolute favorite, it was Recess. I can't think of another cartoon that I found more entertaining than that. Um, but yeah, he really fucked with that Thomas show. Um, that, that was creepy. Their faces creep me out a lot. I don't like how it looks like Saul. It looks like a scary horror character. So I don't know why any of y'all would watch that. If you watch it, you know, it's giving serial killer vibes, but you know, whatever. Uh, that, that's you. Anyway, let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what, what shows y'all watched as a kid. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.